All right, we got a uh, Raw show to talk about here. Yeah, I want to bring up a couple things on Raw. So, yes. Um, so it was it, it was interesting watching the show because it felt like there's just a lot of stuff that just felt like had changed, and there was stuff that stuff that changed. You know, I mean, for whatever reason, um, you know, the uh, the open challenge with Becky Lynch was originally going to be Tegan Knox. Um, they switched it to Natalia. I don't know why, you know, they just did. Um, aside from that, nothing else really big changed. But watching the show, it felt in, in certain cases that a, some of the storylines they've been doing, I don't know if they dropped them for the week or they just dropped them or it was just weird because, like, um, no J.D. McDonough, um, you know, and they'd been doing that whole storyline. And maybe because the storyline of tonight was all about uh, Jey Uso joining Judgment Day that having, you know, stuff with J.D. McDonough doing, you know, joining Judgment Day, it probably wasn't the week to do that, so I kind of understand dropping that one for for a week. Um, but he wasn't on the show at all. Um, no Matt Riddle on the show, which, um, I don't know if he's, if he's healthy or not. You know, I mean, he was very sick, you know, last week. Um, I haven't heard an update since Thursday, and he was still sick on Thursday. Um, then um, what was the other thing that uh, was interesting? Chad Gable. So so Chad Gable last week was, you know, big, impassioned, great promo. You know, I'm going to beat Gunther, you know, win the championship. And I figured, okay, they'll probably put this on the pay-per-view and he's probably going to beat Gunther. And then on this show, he just got squashed by Bronson Reed. And I suppose it could be that you know if he's going to win the title then you put Bronson Reed as his big contender that does make sense but it was such a squash you know really i mean it was you know tsunami and you well know. it was more than that because the way this was set up i mean he went to Adam Pierce and he said you know how can i get another shot at Gunther and Bronson Reed shows up and basically makes the point that you know, you lost, and you can't just slide your way back into a title shot. And uh, but last week they were talking about it like it was. I know, much... but it was it was made clear on this show that he's not getting another title shot. And when he lost to Brunson Reed, I mean, there's two there's two possibilities here. One of them is that you know Vince is back writing the show, and all these guys he doesn't like. Well, he's not back. Are he's doomed. not back. He's not back. He's not back riding. But no, again, or the I other option s- is that this is a slow build and he needs to work his way back up from the bottom to get to Gunther. And he's not beating him at this pay per view. They're going to hold it off to Survivor Series or Royal Rumble or something. But uh, yeah, this this the way they weird. booked this show, it's like he is not in contention right now. No, and also, but last week it was like it was setting it up for you know. I mean, it they was, were. It, but this week it's Champa. Yep, this week's Ch- this week it's Champa. Yes. So, so I think something changed, and whether it's again, I have not heard. I but you know your thing about Vince, it is it is my that was kind of like if I was sitting there watching well, when I was. That's what watching. I was going to ask you because there's yeah, a I lot don't know. of things. And I Vince... don't know. I don't know, but that, but Vince, and again, the nature of that uh, Chad Gable and Bronson Reed match, that is Vince. You know what I mean? It was Getting a, a baby... big man versus little man match, and the you big know, man it... literally cut a promo in the match saying, "I'm just too big for this guy." And then, and just then he was too big him. for this guy, and he squished him like a bug and pinned him clean in the middle. Plus, you know, historically, you know, I mean, you know, Vince's vision of Chad Gable has always been Shorty, Shorty Gable, Shorty Gable, right? Yeah. Well, it opened up with Cody coming out for a promo. And he said, last week I was going to talk about Jey Uso, but I got interrupted, so I want to talk about him this week. And then Dom interrupts, and Dom says, Rhea's not here tonight. She was injured by Nia last week, and uh, she's going to be back sooner, better than ever. And I'm going to beat Cody tonight and dedicate the win to her. So then Cody says, you know, I don't know if this, uh, if, if Mommy likes you as much as you like her. What's the deal here? I think she has eyes for Jey Uso. So Dom, of course, does not like this at all. And the rest of Judgment Day come out. This leads to Cody versus Dom. And this was totally unlike their pay-per-view match. It went like three minutes. And uh, Finn yanked uh, Cody off the roads for some heat. But then Cody made a comeback, hit the Cody cutter, hit the crossroads, pinned the guy. Yeah, two minutes and whatever. Dom Um, is having a champion versus champion match on NXT tomorrow. And as much as they plug that show, 
Boy, was this something else. Well, not just that. guy got that. beat in three minutes clean like a geek. Not just that. I mean, he's a champion in NXT, and he's, uh, you know, his match with, he's going to be wrestling all, you know. I mean, the point is, he's a champion, and yeah, it was, uh, that was weird. You know, I mean, it's like. Well, it's, 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 a, it's a Vince thing. I mean, this is, this is, this is his wheelhouse. It is Vince's wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was just, um, I mean, I would, you know, I mean, Cody was going to win. I mean, but usually you want to protect your champions, especially when he's, you know. Have a competitive match, have a bunch of near falls. Three minutes. And it's not like, it's not like there was so much stuff on this show that they couldn't have cut some stuff out to where, you know what I mean? Where they just had no time because they had this awesome show and everything. I mean, it was, it was there, you know, like, just like, I mean, the story of the match is essentially that, that, um, Dom is a big talker and you all hate him, but against the top guy, he in competition. And he's competition for the guys in NXT, but that basically tells you the NXT guys are second rate. Well, he did explain later that the reason he did so badly was because Rhea was not there and he was distracted. So he wanted something it's, it's done not, about that's, that. It's still, still. Well, that is the story they tell, by the way, that he's absolutely useless without Rhea Ripley. They yeah. have told that story for a while. So then Cody is leaving, and Kevin says, actually, th there was a, you know, the uh, Judgment Day went after Cody, and so Sammy and Kevin ran down to make the save. So then Kevin says, uh, Cody, uh, can you come back here? We need to have a talk. And he says, I hear that Jey Uso is back because of you. Cody says, yes. Kevin says, well, I don't think I need to go into detail about some of these things that happened, but there's a lot of people unhappy about him being here. And Cody said, well, the fact of the matter is my job is to make these fans happy. And do you guys like Jey Uso? Is that, his, is that his job? Well, you know, as a wrestling performer, your job is to please the ticket-buying public, yes. Okay, all right. And uh, they all want to see Jey Uso. They cheered. And he said that everyone, you know, I've received second chances. Everyone receives second chances. Jey's one of the best in the world. He deserves a second chance. Were you thinking punk about through all this? No, I was not, actually. I was. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, listen to, I mean listen, to, listen to the wording. Sammy says, I don't want to pile on, but I've known you since day one, and uh, maybe I trust people too quick. But I know Jay, he's been through a lot as well. He also, I believe, deserves a second chance. And uh, I've given second chances to you, and that's why we uh, won the tag team titles at WrestleMania. And Kevin finally says, look, I know where it's going. I get it. You want me to pretend he's not a part of why you didn't beat Roman at Mania, why you didn't beat uh, Roman in Montreal, so uh, why, why and why I why didn't lost five title matches to Roman Reigns? Yeah, was it five? That's I mean, what he said. Yeah, there he was, said there he several. cost me five title matches against Roman. Yeah, he said I'll even pretend Jesus was in one shade of eyeliner away from joining the Judgment Day. So if you want me to trust him, I can't. But I trust the two of you, and I hope you're right. And he leaves. And then Anthony Bowens starts talking about Mr. Ass. <laughs> He's in tears talking about. Mr. Ass. One more time, he says, from your couch at home, scissor me, daddy ass. I wish they would have said something like, we called him on the ass phone. Remember how Gorilla Monsoon had the banana phone? Yeah. I just imagine a phone, an ass phone that they used to call Billy I'm going to regret this Google search. <laughs> <laughs> For an article on Vice from April of 2016. <clears throat> The secret world of tiny phones that go inside your butt. Oh, really? Well, that's that's not quite what I was expecting. Nor, wait a second. There's an article on this. Can you can you send me this article? Okay. All right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Now, if you hello, told me, hello, hello. Craig, please. What are we talking about? I don't know. Or something. Okay. Collision, collision. House of Black versus Darius Martin in action and Teddy Lee Johnson. That's where you keep the phone. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.